and it says we are live. Of course, it's Thursday night. I'm coming on a little bit later than I thought I was going to come on originally. Um, what do you want, man? Life gets in the way sometimes. It's been a busy day. It's been a hectic day. One of those days, and we're going to have fun tonight. We have a few things to cover. Taking that out of it. We have a few things to cover here tonight. Uh, we're going to do our trivia in just a couple of minutes. We are going to talk about the return of BotCon. I meant to talk about that last week and did not. We are going to delve into the business pages when we had some kind of interesting comments made from Takara, especially when you put them in conjunction with a quote from Hasbro last week. Just saying, just saying, I think that there's some messages coming across from companies that we would all be wise to pay attention to. We're going to look at some news and notes of some releases and whatnot, especially coming out of Wonderfest 2020, especially as it concerns Studio Series Devastator, uh, Masterpiece RC, and Masterpiece Tigatron. In the thumbnail for tonight's episode, I actually had RC and Tigatron, so we'll talk about those in a bit. And we're going to lay them here. I'll lay, just lay them there. And we're going to kind of conclude things off with really with an unboxing. And it's, oh, ooh, oh, like it's a, it's a big, there's a lot of things in here. It's a big box. None of it at the moment is earth rise, though. We're going to talk about that as well. Oh. I'm already, I'm already beat here, guys. <sighs> Let's get the intros out of the way as per usual. I'm your host, your humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, man. And while you're at it, that's right, hit that notification bell because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and the Autobot family, if I didn't say that already. And have a look for me everywhere across social media. I'm not a hard man to find. You'll find all those links in the description and what not. Okay, the trivia for tonight. And I see that people are in here making comments and whatnot, and uh, they're coming in. The trivia, we'll get that done, and then I'll kind of get things set up here. As per usual, the trivia, of course, is brought to us by a good friend of the channel, Dragonfly. And it's uh, it's an interesting one. I didn't know it. Which planet was Cyclonus tricked into sending Galvatron to by a Quintesson for psychiatric treatment? Fun fact, Galvatron never got fixed of his insanity. Instead, he drove the planet insane. That's how crazy that guy is because lava seeped into his brain and his servos and stuff. So, you know, like, this is your brain. This is your brain on lava. That's kind of how it was. Uh, so what was the planet that he was sent to to seek this psychiatric treatment? Was it A, Antilla? Was it B, Paradron? Was it C, uh, Brodingnog? Or was it D, Torculon? So was it A, Antilla, B, Paradron, C, um, Bardingnog, or D, Torculon? Uh, what do you guys think about that? I'm going to get things just set up here. We're going to have fun tonight. There's an unboxing. There's some reveals to talk about. I'm excited. I'm excited about tonight. Uh Let's see here while we get some of this ready. I appreciate you guys hitting that like button. It uh, it really does help me out, and I I notice it there. Um, and we'll go we'll go like this. Let's see who we have. Thor is happy to see you in here. Firebite, happy to see you in here. It was nice, man, to be able to drop in on your live stream the other night. I know you had to go for your, I guess it's a dorm meeting, I suppose. I uh, hope that went well. Um, Jem Di Howe, happy to see you, my friend. Uh, Blizzard, always happy when you come in. M MWG. Um, yeah, Firebite, I was happy to do it, man. I, I was glad I was able to come in and join along. Um Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Chug for life. I can't argue with you, Thors. Um, Neuro, happy to see you as well. 
just saw some fabulous art on Twitter that's made me want to go to TF Nation this year. You know what? Look, we're going to, I'll mention TF Nation when we talk about BotCon returning. Uh, but long story short, I say if you could do it, man, if you could swing it, do it. Like if you can, if you can find a way to do it, do it. Uh, let's see. Gabriel, happy you're here as well. Uh, everybody has, it's interesting. Uh, good news, Armada Optimus Prime is still happening. We're going to talk about that. I don't, I don't know if it's good news. I don't care. I, it's not for me. I don't like Unicron Trilogy. But we're going to talk about that, too. And I am happy that you're happy for it. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Yeah, Wonderfest. We're going to be talking about Wonderfest. Uh, Crimson, I'm happy, of course, that you're here, as always, my friend. Uh, and as we go down here, Starscream Wife is in here, of course. Uh, she's saying, we're running, I'm going to tell you why we're running late. We're, we're running late because we were both doing stuff. I was dealing with some laundry and Starscream Wife was kind of cleaning up from the end of the day and whatnot. And then before we went on, she said, I have to deal with the habitat for my ladybugs. Any of you who have been paying attention for a while know that at the moment, Starscream Wife has a little habitat made for a couple of pet ladybugs that she has and like she's learned to how to take care of them this has been going on for months now and uh like she knows how to change out their food and their water and everything so she was she was doing that taking care of her pets so that's why we're on a little bit late you know uh she's trying to do something good so i can't argue with it uh neuro says d torculon let's see it is b says blizzard b says thors gabriel says b um uh, hold on. I gotta, gotta just do this. Um, uh, go down. Oh, what's the question? Uh, so I missed the question was, what planet was it that Cyclonus sent Galvatron to to get cured of being the insane? Was it A, Antilla? Was it B, Paradron? Was it C, uh, Brodingnag? Or was it D, Torculon? So far, Neuro has guessed D. Everybody else has guessed B. Uh, Super Firefly, no. Uh, stop asking. Actually, I'm going to remove that comment. Um, no, stop asking. Uh, pretty sure it's not D, says Boss Gunny. Um, let's see. And I don't dance. D, D. Okay. This is what's going to happen here. Um, yeah, I just got him putting a timeout and he knows why he's putting a timeout. Uh, got another. No, no, no. Not going to happen. My friend and MWG, not tonight. Uh, so. Um, he's in a timeout, guys. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. He's in a timeout. Okay. Uh, the answer was D, Torculon. Torculon was the planet. Neuro had it right. Uh, a couple of other people guessed D, and you guys all had it right. You guys are so smart, and I appreciate you doing it. Um, Price, I don't know why. I don't know why you're saying Price, Gabriel. Uh, not sure. Not sure where you're going to with Price there, buddy. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, BotCon is returning in 2021, but it's going to be a little bit different than it was. Before, it was kind of officially endorsed and backed by Hasbro, and it's where we would see a lot of, like, first-party reveals and whatnot. And places like TFCon in Toronto, which now has become TFCon in, uh, like, 500 different places, like... I think it's cool, but at the same time, it's not special. It used to be that, uh, you know, in the, in the UK, you had TF Nation and Auto Assembly, which was great because you needed something in that part of the world. And then in North America, it was pretty much, pretty much, except for like SDCC and NYCC and stuff. You pretty much had BotCon for official, like first party. And then you had TFCon, TFCon for uh, third party. And then things sort of changed. You had a lot of smaller ones too, like CybeFest and uh, CybeCon and CyberCon and all these other small ones. Um, 
TFCon decided to expand. You can't blame them. That's just smart business. And I know a lot of our American friends were very happy to have it go to different locations down there. So I don't, I like, great. If you can go, man, go. Uh, the BotCon that's coming back, my understanding is that it's not actually going to be associated with Hasbro. Now, apparently it's going to be run by the people that ran both iterations of it, uh, both the Fun Pub iteration and the ones before 3H maybe done it. I don't, I don't recall. But apparently it's those people coming back together. Now it's technically fan run. Will it eventually once again be in conjunction with the official? I don't know. We'll see. But I can say this, that I think it's cool that it's coming back and never should have left. I mean, when it left, it was because that and, and Joe Con should also come back for Joe fans for the record. But when it left, the whole idea was, uh, it's all going to go under the banner now of Hascon, and we're going to have that every two years, and we have one in 2017 that a lot of people were like, eh. And then 2019 came and went, and we had nothing. It never should have gone. Now, for me personally, I don't care. Unfortunately, I live in a place in the world where I'm never, I'm not likely to ever make it to a TFCon. I'm not likely to ever make it to a BotCon or a TF Nation or an Auto Assembly or any of that. I don't I envy you people that get to go to several of them. Uh, some people go annually. Uh, man, you're so lucky. So, so lucky. This makes zero difference to me. I'm also not someone who's ever bought any of the exclusives. There are overpriced repaints, really. But you know what? All that out of the way. I'm speaking as someone who has never had the opportunity and may never have the opportunity to experience it. I understand the excitement for it. I'm glad to see it coming back. It never, ever should have went. If you want a really, really good, informed, and informative coverage of it, Input actually discussed it a little while ago, uh, a little over a week ago now. Go check out Input's channel. It was, I believe, a live stream, but he started off talking about the history of BotCon and whatnot. Done an impeccable, impeccable job. I highly recommend you check it out if you're not familiar for some reason with BotCon. So... Um, don't personally have a stake in it. Really happy to see it coming back because I don't think it ever should have left. I also think it's smart that they're starting to do the build now for it in 2021. Nice, long, slow build. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, the business pages we're going to get into in a moment. I'm just going to check in here and see what you guys have been saying. Um, cause I know people have been saying stuff. Let's see here. Um, Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Data Links, happy you're here. I don't, I don't think I know the name, but Data Links Magnus. It's just a cool name. I dig it. I like it, man. I'm glad that you came in to have a laugh with us here. See what's in the box later on, and talk about Wonderfest stuff. Uh, let's see. I love when he sees the what. Veto alien, and he goes, <laughs> which is the blue day, the veto alien. To be fair, Neuro, was he ever not crazy though? Like, was he ever not crazy? I, I failed. Poor Optimus Prime, I failed. Nah, you didn't fit no worse than me, man. I didn't know what the answer was either. I get these from what was the, the Torculon. Wow. I get these questions from Dragonfly, and I'm like, wait, dude, how do you even know this stuff? Um, see oh bouncy danny the video alien yeah and they give him space space legos to build something yes oh the space the space legos it's such a foolish episode like i love it but like it's a ridiculous episode the whole thing is foolish um let's see oh look dragonfly is here i hope you're feeling better buddy i know last week you weren't feeling top notch uh, let's see. I did the same that two can stand spamming. Yeah. Uh, I'm going down here. Last year was my first TF con. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I see the excitement. Like I'd love to meet you guys. I would love the opportunity to go to TF con to TF nation. If I could ever get it, you know, in over in the UK, I'd love to be able to go to podcast. I'd love to meet you guys in person. Um, I don't know. Like right now I look at it and I say like, 
It's a dream. It's a long shot dream, but I, I'd love for it to be able to happen. I think Hasbro will get involved with BotCon 2021, maybe provide a few exclusives that will eventually be offered by a select. They might MWG, and I'd be okay if they were offered by a select because, like, what we used to get before, like, it would be a repaint of a Voyager, except now it's $119 American. Like, what? No. Like, make it sensible and let people go for it. Um, but, like, it, I think you're right, MWG. I think it would be smart for Hasbro to say, look, you know what? Let's just let's just get in the BotCon game again. HasCon didn't go well. These guys obviously want to work on BotCon. Let's work something out, man. The fans want it. You know, they're happy about it, so it makes sense. Uh, Crimson, remember uh, the... Hold on. Because that, that went down there. Um... Remember the reason why BotCon started to fail was not due to Hascom, but was because Hasbro said BotCon would not sell, uh, could not sell third party anymore. Yeah, well now they're gonna only do third party. I don't know. I didn't even know that that was the case, Crimson. Honestly, I don't. I really. I have to be honest. This is why I defer people to input um, because I know nothing about it. I don't follow it. I don't go to it. I'm never gonna go to it. Like it. If it doesn't kind of in, uh, affect me directly, then I really. I don't. I gotta be honest. I really don't pay attention to it, man. I really don't. Um, feel so happy you got a video finished. And when I get back to my dorm, I'm scheduling it for tomorrow. Well, I'm glad that you feel accomplished, man. Uh, Triple R, happy that you're here, my friend. I'd love to go to BotCon at some point. Yeah, I'd love to go there too, Dragonfly. I'm with you, buddy. Uh, we were sold out of their hotel rooms with third party. Um, yeah, that's what a, people, where there's a will, there's a way. People will always find a way around, uh, going down here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Torquilon sounds like a planet with strippers i can see that uh i don't feel what i don't feel good well i'm sorry you don't feel good boots guarding that's tough man uh let's see they're overpriced repaints people are getting together then it was about uh that was a bonus star stream over right here that you agree with me and um uh you like my prediction um, I'm not sure what the prediction is, but, uh, cool, I guess. <sighs> da, 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 da. I don't know if you mean the things that I mentioned, they weren't really predictions. They came from listings. It wasn't even rumors. It was, it was actual listings that were in computer systems. Um, let's see. TFCon looks more, uh, excited, but they don't have any official exclusives that's just their yeah you're right i mean tfcon like i uh, it was always like hey i'd like to go to it now i i've seen videos of it and i came like the vendors there like a they're like a pretty penny markup too um but yeah i mean all of their exclusives are third-party stuff it, it's fine i don't think i'd be there for the exclusives anyway i would be there for the experience and the camaraderie and just that interaction i don't i don't think it would be about like oh what is it i can nab it's if i saw something cool great but i it would honestly it would be about meeting you guys more than anything it really would for me um what do we have here marco happy you're here as well it's been a while since you've been in here marco been a while my friend uh okay so the business pages there was during wonderfest there was this interview that was done with takara and some interesting things came out of it. Now, if you were here last week, you know that I was talking about the ad revenue and stuff that um, Hasbro was spending, not the ad revenue, the, the ad amount, the ad cost that Hasbro was spending and how they had said, and the quote that came to me was, they had said that back in 2014, they put all of their funding, I guess, into promoting like the movie. Uh, which was Age of Extinction. Extinction. They put nothing into promoting Generations because what they said was, we have the collector's loyalty anyway. 
with the attitude that we can do what we like and the collectors are going to come anyway. They don't need the ads to draw them in. I thought that was very arrogant when I heard it. And then I hear this from Takara. And what they say is, first, that the Armada OP was done to gauge interest. And they're not sure if it will be in Generations or Masterpiece or what. I have to be honest. This is the first I've heard of an Armada Optimus Prime. I have no idea what they're talking about. I haven't seen any mold. I have no clue what this is referring to. But Gabriel obviously does. And if you guys are excited for it, then great. I'm excited for you. Not for me. Um, I'm, it's not something I'm going to get, but great for those people into it. See, and I've said this before. I might not be into it, but I know that there's a segment of the population that loves Unicron Trilogy, and they have been underrepresented. I mean, they've gotten the Galaxy Upgrade Optimus, and they've gotten the uh, Selects Hot Shot, I guess, and they've gotten that Generations Armada Starscream, and I, I, oh, and they got that Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron. That's about it. So I'm happy to see this be a nod. I think it's probably best served right now as a Generations release than Masterpiece. I don't know if the Masterpiece collector and somebody who collects Masterpiece could fill me in on this, but I don't know if those people are as linked to Unicron Trilogy stuff as they are to G1 stuff. I feel like the fans of, say, Unicron Trilogy are, they don't quite have that purchasing power yet. They're still a bit, you know, a bit younger, like probably just, you know, just at a college, just starting their life, man, you know? Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I think it fits better with Generations. It's not for me, but I'm happy for it being something that is being talked about, and hopefully those fans are serviced by it. I, I like to see all segments of the fandom, you know, kind of, kind of get some nods and have something to be excited about, including those who like Unicron Trilogy. The second thing that Takara said was that prices have gone up because of um, higher parts counts in order to have things be animation accurate and increases the cost of materials. Higher parts counts, okay, I see. And I've said before that I understand some of the price increase. Um, higher cost of materials, I think that's an outright lie. Um, oil's price has gone down, which means plastic's price has gone down. You compare it to what it was five, ten years ago, it's cheaper now. So that's a lie. Uh, as well, they've changed factories to make it cheaper. So I think they're saying it because it's the corporate line, but I think it's an outright lie, to be honest with you. I really do. I don't believe them. It's as simple as that. I would need them to show me. Show me those costs because I don't believe you. Um, and the well, that's true. The salaries of the CEO has got to go up. That's a good point. And somebody got to somebody got to pad those, you know, retirement pensions for those guys getting older. That's true. That's true. What a crock. But then here's the one that bothers me. They said that they are aware of the issues, the QC issues with um, MP Hound, and they said that they changed to uh, a, a factory in Vietnam, and they didn't know how. Uh, the difference in materials was going to pan out. Now, to my mind, when you say, we didn't know how the difference in materials was going to pan out, maybe what you should do is have one or two or a batch of five produced and then test them to see how those materials stand up and the durability of those materials. Instead, they said, we don't know how the materials are going to do. Oh, well, do the production run anyway. Suckers will buy it. And if it breaks, oh, well, it breaks too bad. I think that just saying we're aware of it, we knew that there that a change in materials might affect quality, uh, but we don't really plan to do anything about it because they didn't say they're doing anything about it. They didn't say anything about a reissue or anything. They just sort of went, like, really? For a couple of hundred dollars, that's the attitude you got? So when you combine an attitude of our materials are crappier and we kind of don't care and we don't need to put any ad revenue into you know, lines that collectors want. It was Generations, but I'm, I've never seen an ad for Masterpiece either. Uh, we don't need to put any revenue in that because we already have the collector's loyalty anyway. I think that's a very arrogant and kind of gross stance to take. Like, the more I hear from these two companies, the less I like doing business with them. Honestly, KO and third party, man, I'm telling you, it's 
where I'm quickly headed. Like I don't, I don't like these companies anymore. I find it, they need new blood because I've gone from in the last say two years, two or three years, I've gone from being one of the people that would defend them to now saying, yeah, I get it. I understand why people turned away from them. They're disgusting. I'm, and that's where I'm too. If you're not there, like, hey, cool. But I'm just saying, when I hear things like this come to me as a consumer and as a fan, I'm insulted by it. Just saying, man. Just saying. I don't know if you are, but it stands out to me, man. More than it should, I think. David Hill, always happy when David stops by. Um, let's say hi. ACP and input were live already. I got the jump off. Um, what? I, okay, you got the jump off. I Okay. Um Let's see. Do you think my joke? I don't know what your joke was, Blizzard. I missed a buddy. Uh, it, it has been a spell, Marco. Absolutely. TFCon looks more. Uh, what? TFCon looks more excited than they don't have. Oh, yeah. Okay. I already read that one. Uh, what do we have here? Fun Pub was definitely screwy. I hope they don't come back. They're part of the ones running it. Fun Pub people from there are part of the ones running it, according to what input said. Um, deal with Hasbro to officially I agree with Crimson it'd be nice if they could get a deal to have official products um, Blizzard that's a couple of times you've asked me if I like your joke I don't know what your joke was man I missed it um, now that internet technology has evolved can there be a way to have a sort of online botcon too with a few different 47 hour lines streams interesting idea Nero I I like that idea actually. I like an online kind of bot con type of thing. It'd be hard to logistically, it'd be hard to work out, but it's an interesting idea. Um, I knew Hasbro was that arrogant. I'm already losing respect for them. Yeah, I am too, and I'm sad that I'm losing respect for them. Like not only losing respect, but I'm getting quickly getting to the point where like I don't want to do business with them because I find them gross. Um, you could. What? You could have online ordering for exclusives. You could, Neuro. The Unicron Trilogy will probably come back after Beast Wars revamp. I agree, Neuro. And you know what? If Unicron Trilogy comes back after the Beast Wars revamp, which I think is coming up next, I think that's good timing because I think we're getting to a point now where the fans that grew up with Beast Wars are now going to want that nostalgia kick. And right after that, the fans that grew up with R.I.D., 2001 or Car Robots, and... Unicron Trilogy are going to want their nostalgia kick. Us old G1 guys, I mean, we're having our heyday, but our time is going to pass, you know? For the other fandoms that came along. Um, see, I'm a Cybertron fan, but if I want those characters, I just buy the old figures. You could also do that. Boots Guardian, there's an argument to be made that they don't need to be updated. A lot of my Beast Wars are still the original Beast Wars, man, because they're so good that they don't need to be updated. Um, they are full of crap, greedy bastards. <laughs> Absolutely, they are. Um, and apparently, uh, yeah, I don't know. Apparently, apparently, Takar is just as bad, man. I don't, I'm glad we're doing the unboxing last because that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. There's going to be some interesting pieces in that one, man. Some interesting pieces. Um, I went way down there, man. Holy Moses. Um. <laughs> Wait, you knocked over your ladybug house and your ladybugs went flying? All four of them? Uh, ladybug down! Yeah, I accidentally knocked their house over. But why would they go flying? Aren't they just on the bottom of the house? Yeah, when I knocked it over, like I knocked it upside down. <laughs> okay, all right. You gotta be careful with knocking ladybugs upside down. Look at the Lux making me blush again. Oh, as always. As he sits there behind his computer with no pants on. Uh, soon enough, I'm going to just get old stuff, knockoffs, and third party. Honestly, like I, like I just finished looking at those Dinobots, and like the Black Mama ones are infinitely better. Infinitely better. Um, and we already know that there's a ton of great third party Dinobots, just as an example. I mean, ton of them uh i mean what giga power they done great ones I, i'm not a fans toys guy but i mean they look beautiful i give credit where credit is due uh let's see 
Uh, what is Dragonfly saying here? Not this sucker. I can't see spending that much on MP figures with QC problems from the past, so I don't have faith in MP figures of any sort. Good point. Uh, what do we have here? The car's attitude will change once retailers flood with MP Hound returns, uh, refusing to carry new... Yes. That's when you're going to see the attitude change. MWG just hit it right on the head. You're going to see attitudes change when retailers stop buying the items to sell in their stores. Neither of these companies are in danger of going out of business, I don't think, unless they keep making the decisions they're doing. I don't think they're going to do that for too long because guess what? You're going to get new blood come through that's going to say, hey, man, we have a fandom here who wants to be loyal to us. We have to be able to work things in such a way that they feel like they're being respected. Simple as that, you know? Um, Hasbro is only the easiest way for me to get any characters I want and need my collection. And that's what their advantage is. Triple R just hit the nail on the head as well. Hasbro is the only and easiest way for me to get the characters I want and need for my collection. That's the thing. That's the thing. They're so accessible. But that doesn't mean that they should be disrespectful either, you know? Deluxe Hail Hasbro. I knew he was going to be loving that Hasbro. Although, that being said, Deluxe, come on, buddy. You know you got a thing for that Pioneer. You and Kato loving the Pioneer. Going to be in your collection forever, right? Um, apparently, EB Games has pre-orders for Earthrise. They do, Marco. As well, I can now confirm that Toys R Us in Canada has both Deluxes and Leaders for Earthrise. Not here yet, where I'm to, but they were sighted in Kitchener, Ontario. So they are finally in Canada. Now, Deluxe, I heard talking earlier, saying that, um, you know, he doesn't have any of the Earthrise stuff yet. And he felt like, you know, he was sort of falling behind the times, like Kato got them all, Larkin got them all. I feel you, man. I'm right there with you. I want them now too. Um, but I did hear about the... Uh, what do you call it? The uh, pre-orders, Marco. Though, thanks for sharing with us because, um, you know, I'm sure there are people that didn't know. Showing up for me already. Just Voyagers and Deluxes so far. Wheeljack is good. I recommend. Yeah, Wheeljack. I'm actually going to be replacing my Wheeljack with Wheeljack. And I think it was Deluxe. And he can confirm this for me. Maybe said that there's a third party company that's making an extra gun for him. So I guess you could leave the stock one on his shoulder. I don't know what that company was. I missed it earlier. Um, but if that's true, maybe Deluxe could fill me in on who that is. Uh, Devlin, happy you're here, buddy. Uh, Spinal C MP. <laughs> Once was I. Well, I get around to a lot of different places and I meet a lot of different people, Spinal. So, you know, I'm sure that our paths have crossed, my friend. Jackie's okay with the exception of Prime. Earthrise isn't working for me. Um, yeah, I don't think... The, I think... I think I'm going to stick with my siege. You know, I, a little while ago, I put up a picture. Uh, yesterday, I put up a picture, and I showed the Second Chance trailer. By the way, some people have asked me, where can you get the Second Chance trailer? Um, I'm sure you can get it, like, uh, on eBay or something. But I do know that Robot Kingdom has a pre-order up now for a restock now in February. So make of that what you will. But some people asked... Can a deluxe like sideswipe, this is the G2 sideswipe, fit in here because it can't with the Earthrise one? Uh, it can't slide in the truck because of hinges for the doors to open. But if you have this open and you lay sideswipe in there, yes, he fits in there just fine. And uh, this is big enough to accommodate him. So make of that what you will. That being said, I don't want to put a side swipe in there. I want roller. And that's the advantage of this one. I want roller. And guess what? Roller can fit in there. So that's what I do with them. Um, and this is longer. This clocks in at nine and a quarter inches or 23 centimeters. I'm not sure what the Earthrise one is. I'm not saying the Earthrise one is bad either. I don't think it's bad. I think it's quite good, actually. Uh, but people were asking me questions about the Second Chance one. So there you go. Um, hoist is good. I feel like Hoist is good, but, man, I don't remember the last time we had anyone as hollow as him. Like, I think I'm going to get him. I think I'm going to love him. 
thing I'm going to hate myself for because the backs of his lower legs are hollow, his thighs are hollow, his forearms are hollow, his upper arms are hollow. There's a lot of hollowness in him, but he looks amazing. I absolutely agree with you, Firebite. Um, let's see, Boots Guardian, my upgrade. What? My grapple broke immediately, and maybe that's why he's shell forming hard. My wow, wow, Cybermatic Geek. Happy to see you, my friend. Um, where am I, where am I gone here? I've gone down again. Uh, what? Earthrise Wheeljack is getting scalped. Wouldn't know. He's not here yet. Can't, can't get scalped here. He's not here. Uh, let's see. I bought Hoist today and I returned him. He's so light and frail feeling. That's what I'm afraid of, Boots Guardian. I'm afraid of how he feels like that, man. Uh, let's see. No, no. Hey, buddy, I got pants. I ain't the luck. Uh, just saying. After Earthrise, I'm going to call today. I think a lot of people are Devlin. I uh, I know some collectors now who are already saying that they're only going to cherry pick from Earthrise. Um, where are the days of those uh, impulse buys, man? I'm just saying. Um, going down here. I can't find Jack for Earthrise yet. I don't, I like Siege, none of that was hard to find here. I feel like Earthrise is going to be even easier to find stuff. I don't, I don't, I'm not even concerned about like having to run right out and buy everything because it's going to be there. Uh, let's see. No, you did not miss the box opening Blizzard. It's going to be the last thing. There's a ton of stuff in there. It's, this is going to be, this is going to be fun. Now, I haven't looked in it. I don't know everything, but we're going to have some reaction. We're going to have some fun. Um, and I'll explain why I have this box. I don't own it. It's on loan to me, but I'll explain why I have this box when we get to it. Uh, let's see. Maybe TRU can does merge with Target. I'd be cool with that, to be honest with you, MWG. Uh, let's see. I'm just annoyed. Anything I pre-ordered on Amazon from Earthrise won't be in my possession until April. Yeesh. That's rough. That is rough fire, but especially if you see it around. Uh, Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer is like... Without his trailer, uh, he is the Voyager, uh, Gabriel. Absolutely. The reason they're calling him leader is because he comes with the trailer and a matrix. And they're going to say that that makes up the plastic, you know? Let's see. I think the third War for Cybertron trilogy series is going to redo Prime again. Identical to Earthrise one, but it has roller... Could be right, Boots Guardian. I wouldn't necessarily doubt it, to be honest with you. I'm just going to wait. Uh, Toronto Comic Con and get Wheeljack. Maybe Cliff Jumper. Fair enough, Marco. Um, hey, Sam. Happy you're here. Okay, so a few new, uh, like news notes things. And then we'll get to the box and then we'll get out of here. Uh, so, news notes. We had a whole bunch of stuff come up this week for the trading card game and like mobile games. A lot for the trading card game. Fun fact, I've never played a trading card game in my life. I've never played a Pokemon or a Dungeons and Dragons or a Magic the Gather. I don't even know how these games work. Not a clue. I don't even know the concept behind them. Nothing. But if you're into it, there's a ton of new stuff coming, apparently. Um, rejoice if you like the game. You must be doing well for them to bring out so much new stuff, I guess. We saw the... We saw images of the Cyberverse Deluxe Build-A-Figure Hot Rod. Looks really good. Very sleek body type. The, I don't know what you call them, those like pipes that are on his arms, hands. They stick down kind of low, but like I'm cool with it because I've always been cool with it there. Uh, he looks really good. I think that the Cyberverse Deluxes, I've said it before about Wave 1, and I'm saying it now about Wave 2. They're what Cyberverse Deluxe, or they're what Cyberverse always should have been. They're fantastic, and Hot Rod is no exception. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, manga collections are coming out that apparently are collections of Japanese comic strips from years ago. I don't know, weird, but they're like th three, four hundred pages each. Han Cholo Designs have unveiled these Optimus Prime earrings, a Rodimus Prime pin, and a Soundwave pin. The Soundwave pin looks... Yeah, the Soundwave pin looks fantastic, but Starscream Wife immediately saw the Optimus Prime earrings and said, they are very ugly, they're not even cute. And then Event Progenitor said, I'd be okay with it if he had eyes. 
doesn't even have eyes. I don't, they're not well done. They're not, it doesn't look good. Uh, and the pin for Rodimus, I'm, if somebody didn't tell me it was Rodimus, I never would have known. I had no idea that was Rodimus. It looked nothing like him to me. Um, but Soundwave is good, man. Soundwave is good. Okay, so Wonder Festival. Uh, we saw Studio Series Overload. Very cool looking. Big, burly robot. I don't know what those pieces are that's sticking off him. I have no idea what his vehicle mode is, but what a dangerous looking truck. It is like no construction vehicle I've ever seen. If somebody knows what he is, let me know. I'd be cool to know what that is. And we saw Scrapper. Scrapper's tractor looks like Scrapper. Scrapper's robot looks like Weirdo, like all the constructor cons, but looks good. Um, and we also kind of got, I think it's Skipjack or Skyjack. I can't remember what it is. It's the yellow repaint of Rampage. Uh, we saw him kind of. We saw Devastator made with Rampage as a leg, and there's a whole lot of red, but then there were also images of Devastator with Skipjack or whatever it is as a leg being a little more yellow. I think I prefer that, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but, I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong if you go with Rampage either. It's just, you gotta like red. In terms of Devastator himself, he looks so good. So good. Like, he's an unholy amalgamation. But I expected him to look a lot bulkier and clumsy and cumbersome than he does. I think... And I don't have any of these, so I can't confirm it. If you guys do, you can confirm it. I think at least some of the connections are the Combiner War style connections. Someone can let me know. But he looks interesting. I'm very excited to see the full combined mode. And um, I already know that the KOs have started. In fact, we might be taking a look at one of them here on the channel. Uh, you know, a little spoiler for something coming up down the line. But he looks great. If you've been in for him, fantastic. Now, I, I, I said that I thought that what Devil Savior was doing uh, looked better, even though it was much more expensive. However, I've heard rumbling since that the Devil Savior lads are not very good, man. I've heard that they're not great. I think it was Deluxe said that they're not that good. Not fun, not fun. So... I'm, I'm going to say this. If you're in for a movie Devastator, Studio Series is probably the way to go, man. I mean, my Devastator is the G1 Titan, but if you're into the Studio Series, I think it's a good one. I really do. Really, really do. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm excited for you guys that are excited about it. Uh, what else did we have? Sentinel, Nen, Nendaroid, Nendroid, I don't know. Have a little super deformed Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. They look cute. Um... We also saw, um, what else did we see? We also saw MP50 and 51. 50 is going to be an MP of this guy, Tigatron, Beast Wars Tigatron. I think it's a surprise. Nobody expected Tigatron to be number 50. He looks gorgeous, beautiful. Not just a repaint and a reuse of Cheetor, even though the original from the Beast Wars line, was a repaint and a reuse of Cheetor. But he's bigger. Uh, I don't think there's a faux head in front. I think it's the actual, like, white tiger head. And while the molded detail looks the same as Cheetor, except larger, I think the actual engineering is different. Like, if you look at the way the upper paws are behind him, they're different. If you look at the uh, pelvis plate, crotch plate, whatever you want to call it, uh, the one on Cheetor is like one piece, I think. The one on Tigatron is, I, I, I don't know, but it's three pieces, to be honest with you. So I think Tigatron looks amazing. I don't know what his price is going to be. I have no idea. But if you are into Beast Wars or you're into Tigatron or you're into MP, I, go for it. I, I, he looks spectacular. I mean, I'm not, I'm not an MP guy. I'm not going to get him, but he looks spectacular. And then we get to the elephant in the room. I see. I love the Generations RC, and I think it's infinitely better than the Masterpiece. I think the Masterpiece... Let's do the compliment sandwich. Let's do the compliment sandwich for Masterpiece 51 RC. First, I think she absolutely deserves Masterpiece. I really do. And I think her alt mode looks beautiful, man. 
beautiful, beautiful alt mode for RC. But the robot mode is perhaps the ugliest robot mode I've ever seen for any MP. I think it's awful. I think it's a failure. I really think it's bad enough that the robot mode is a failure. And I have four reasons why I think it's a failure. The first is that the, um, the chest looks like, you know, 100-year-old nanny. It's down way too low. Now, it could be mistransformed. Kato seems to really think it's mistransformed. But it looks bad. Really bad. Way too low. I mean, her chest is down to her tummy. It's like you go over to nanny and you give nanny a hug and you're like, that don't feel right. Well, it's because it's nanny. Um, I don't, I don't like it. The backpack is, I get it. RC is always going to fold up on the back, but her backpack is really big, really big, bigger. Like, I don't know if there's a way to comp compress it, compact it more, but it's really big. Her face sculpt doesn't look like RC to me. There's something off about it. It's too narrow. Now, somebody said, hey, a lot of times these characters come with different faces. So perhaps another face sculpt would be one that I would opt to leave in there. But the one that they had on display, I looked at it and I said, that don't look like RC to me. It just doesn't. And then the hands. What is up with the hands, man? Some people have said, like, oh, people complain about hands. You shouldn't. I can't see past it. It's like somebody broke all 10 of her fingers and then said, we're not going to take you to the doctor. You're just going to let the bones heal however they heal. And they did, and now she has these 10 gnarled witch fingers. Um, awful. I, if I had her, I would have to keep her in alt mode because the robot is disgusting. There's a number of, like, fans toys done a better robot. Now, function-wise, it's not good. Um, MMC's Azalea, better robot mode. Even though the head and the face sculpt is off on that one, at least it looks like it's proportioned correctly so and, and i'll say this for the official mp51 uh to round out our compliment sandwich here um she has a ton of beautiful paint so well done but i think the hands need to be resculpted uh, a better face and maybe the chest remolded or transformed correctly or something like it's such potential there but i wouldn't even if i was an mp collector I would go with one of the third party here because I think they look better in robot mode. I re I would probably go with MMC to be honest with you because I like that car mode and I like the robot mode, even though the head kind of throws me off a bit. But I think I would go with MMC. So I love Tigatron, totally on board. Not an MP collector, but totally on board. I think he's gorgeous. Um, RC has a ton of paint, nice alt mode, terrible robot, man. Terrible robot. And I'm not saying it to ruin it for anyone. If you're on board with it, man, you do you, but. I just, I, no, just, no, I can't, can't. Okay, I'm just going to check with you guys, and then we're going to get to this big old box, and we're going to see what's in there. Um, that's the that's the fun things for tonight. Um, it's going to be getting in there and seeing what we had delivered to us. Let's see, going back up here. Um I think we'll get a retool of Grapple into Inferno. I think it's almost a given Dragonfly. I'd be cool with an Art Fire, too, to be honest with you. Uh, I think the third... Uh, 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 Prime again, we, I already saw that one. I'm just going to... Uh, no, I already saw that one, too. Let's see. Have you done Mario? I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Hold on. Only card game I ever played was Yu-Gi-Oh! As a... Like again, I don't know. I don't know what a Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't know what a Yu-Gi-Oh was until uh, one of the Scraplets was watching it uh, one day on TV and kind of explained a bit of it. But like, I'd never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't know what it was. I'm so old that I, I just I don't know any of this stuff. Not even in the realm of my understanding. Have you done Mario? I don't know what that means, Cybermatic Geek. But I rarely understand what you say. I don't understand anything you say. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> different generations dude uh that cyberverse hot rod looks pretty good yeah granted i've already got the animated deluxe and i don't think that'll be surpassed anytime soon nah, probably not sam that was a good one 
I played Magic the Gathering in local tournaments back in the day. See, a lot of people have experience with this. So, like, I get it. I know that these trading card games are pretty big. I just, I don't understand them. Uh, from what I know, Overloads Alternate Mode is a dump truck. Really? I've never seen it. That is as much of a dump truck as that weird cement mixer in the Combiner Wars Titan class one was a cement mixer. Like, I've never seen one like it. Interesting. A dump truck. Interesting. Overload looks wonderful. He does look wonderful. He looks weird, but he looks beautifully weird. Articulate, articulated dump truck? What the hell is an articulated dump truck? Scrapper I've been looking forward to for a long time, and I'm getting skipjack. Yeah, there you go. Because uh, I love the Rampage mold. I, I, I can't speak to any of the boots. Guy. I haven't handled any of them. They all look weird, but... Uh, I, I want to know how it turns out for you. I really do. I hope that long haul gets a uh, redeco as payload so that all the limbs for Devastator are yellow. Interesting, Sam. Interesting. Although I heard a lot of people said that they didn't like long haul. Is he bad? I don't know. I haven't had him. Um, Hasbro Pulse sent me a message saying they are giving me six more months of premium. Probably wrong place to mention this. I don't know what that means. Um, again, I'm I'm in Canada. We don't really have Hasbro Pulse. I don't know what that means. So good for you, I guess. I, I guess MWG. I don't know. I have a few of the Studio Constructor Cons, and as far as I can see, there is not the okay. Maybe maybe it was just what I saw in a picture. I don't know. Uh, I'm working on collecting the Studio Series Devastator. Fair enough. So I'm just like, I mean, there are people out there, and like that's gonna be their Devastator. And if you're into the movie line, like. Go for it. I would. I would if I was in the movie line. I would absolutely be so excited about Devastator. So excited. Um, the Constructicons connectors are different. Oh, okay, fair enough. You guys, you guys would know better than me, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, Tiger Tron looks fantastic. How many arms do they want for it? I don't know, man. I've heard that the RC is 300 bucks, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of MP figures either, Triple R. I, I'm, I'm a Generations guy. Um, HD Gamer, hey. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, could already see that masterpiece. RC has quite an ugly back. Fans toys for me. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I think... I think any of the third-party RCs do the robot mode infinitely better. Any of them. Any of them. Uh, I think that the Generations, even with her big backpack, I still think the Generations does the robot mode better. I look at the face of the Generations, and it looks like RC. I look at the face of the uh, MP, and it doesn't look like RC to me. I think it's the eyes and the shape of the chin. I think uh hate her face there you go i'm also tempted to get mp black arachne as well uh, mp black arachne is nice but the spider legs pop right off um transformers are transformers the game remastered on what lays lays low ven uh, okay gabriel oh, i don't know what that is somebody explain it to me uh, I got to get the Fembots. When you say the Fembots Triple R, do you mean the three little motorcycle lasses? Uh, I saw them. They're tiny, man. Real tiny. Uh, again, get them if you want, you know. Cool motorcycles. Uh, the Masterpiece RC looks absolutely awful in robot mode, and it's such a damn shame. The chest doesn't seem to, to be mistransformed, given the way that the white lines up and the rest of I don't know. I don't know, but the robot mode looks bad to me. Uh, the aging RC. Somebody made the joke earlier that, you know what? She has been around for 35 years. So I, I, I get it. Um, going to say this now. It's going to suck. <laughs> Back kibble. What? Food poisoning? Ugh. Dinosaur planet. I feel bad for you, buddy. I just rather RC gets redesigned so that the parts of her vehicle mode get integrated into the robot mode better. I agree, Sam. They should redesign her. Um, hey, I'm always happy when you come by, my friend. Hope things are going well for you. Uh, by the way, M, I hear that Earthrise is showing up at TRU 
in Ontario. Might want to start checking yours, buddy. I wish I could say that they were showing up here. Just saying. Um, really upsetting how downhill the new figures are going. It is upsetting. I agree with you, Boots Guardian. Uh, all the MPB stores look good, but too pricey. Agreed. Uh, Speaking of Tigertron, though, here's something I've always wanted to know. What were the Beast Wars characters' original names? Yeah, I've wondered that too, Sam. What were they before they had the Beast names? Good question. I hope we get Earthrise Huff from Pipes. Mech Fan Toys. You want a good Huff from Pipes that's affordable? Mech Fans Toys. Uh, just saying. Those ones are pretty great. Uh, I want Earthrise Grapple, Inferno. Holler and our fire. Yeah, give me a holler. I'm down for that. Um, the only Beast Warrior I know to have had their original name revealed was Megatron. Original name was Nash. Really? I didn't know that. Interesting. Um, I see that type of cement mixer several times a week, and an articulated dump truck can. Bend in the middle. I've never seen any of this. I've never, ever seen any of this. Interesting, Triple R. Very interesting. I guess it depends on where you live in the world and the industries that you're in. Uh, let's see. Um, Tiger tried somewhere in the realm of 200. Maybe, maybe. That'd be a decent price, I think, for him. Generations RC is awesome. I love her. So do I. I'm interested to see what they're going to do with RC for Earthrise. Like, they've done the Generations, which is fantastic. They've given her the Headmaster gimmick in Titan's Return. I don't know what else there is to do with RC. I guess we'll see. Um, it got to be something special to be better than my Generations, though. Really got to be something special. Um, uh, going down here. Um. Mech Fans Toys does have great Legends class figures. They have they, Mech Fans Toys has a lot of great stuff. Okay, okay, let's get into the big thing, which is oh, oh, oh! I think it's what most people came here for. Why? Oof! Oof! I'm already beat out. Oh. <laughs> already beat up with this um okay oh no oh, that's not what i meant to do okay so first things first we have a box here that has a lot of a lot of stuff in it and ooh, 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 there's there's a lot of stuff here um now any of you guys who have been around for kind of any length of time will know that this past week in episode 666, I finally got caught up with everything that's in my collection here in my home. And until either like new, anything that comes up now will either be new or I'll be buying it new to me or it will be on loan to me from friends of the channel or something because anything that's mine that's here that I've kind of used to play catch up with like, you know, in between the release of waves and stuff, everything's caught up. I don't have anything left in my collection that has not already been covered on my channel and maximal 10, a good friend of the channel said, Oh, that's never going to do. And he got together a lot of stuff here for me to take a look at. The first is, Movie masterpiece, Ironhide. Um, he said that after about an hour and a half of trying to transform this thing from robot to truck, he gave up. A, he hasn't transformed it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be the guy to be able to do it, but we'll see. And I'm not... I like the studio series, Ironhide, and I've heard some people say that that's better. Than the movie masterpiece so we'll see but to be fair while i'm not a masterpiece guy i did say that movie masterpiece barricade was perfect ends across the board so you never know what else do we have in here um we have we have 
if I go down here, a little bag. Oh, oh, wait. I think I know. I think I know what this is. We have a little, there's a little, speaking of, I think it's Mac, Mac fan toys. There's a little, little dock, little tiny dock. Um, and I believe he comes with like an itty bitty, teeny weeny Omega Supreme. Uh, so we'll see if that's in here as we go through. We'll see if that's in here. Uh, speaking of Omega Supreme, we do have the Mech Fan Toys lad. Um, feels good. Feels hefty. I guess he's about leader class size. I, I like him. We're, we're definitely going to be taking a look at this Omega. He feels real good. Real, real good. I'm impressed with this already. He comes with a ton of junk. So, like, he can do a ton of things. I know that. So I'm very excited about that. And, oh, wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Little tiny, teeny Omega Supreme that goes with... This thing's adorable. This is adorable. This goes with the dock that we just looked at. Um, this thing, that's adorable. I can't wait to look at that. I, It gets in base mode, like it can transform. Um, if you look at it. Bunch of instructions and stuff there. A couple of bases. Who cares about bases? What else do we have in here? We have interesting. This this little I don't know if this is a KO or what it is. It's a little Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Um, feels a little a little bit thin, but the coloration on it is beautiful. Uh, his swords look fantastic. I don't know. Anybody know? Anybody know where this little lad comes from? I don't know. Let me let me check in with let me check in with what you guys have been seeing here. Tiny Omega. Hold on. Tiny Omega Supreme is truly adorable. It is. I've been thinking of getting one of those tiny omegas. Yeah. Well, you know, we're gonna be taking a look at him coming up. What else do we have in here? Oh. We just looked at the KBB Grimlock, and now we'll be taking a look at the KBB Optimus. This thing is painted to the nines. It's beautiful, a gorgeous little Optimus. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to take a look at this, actually. The silver, so nice. The articulation feels... The light piping. Oh, oh, so... So good. What else do we have? Speaking of KBB's little model kits, we have their uh, Action Master inspired. Um, what's this guy's Shockwave? Shock. Uh, you need to like the Action Master motif with the orange, I think, to like this guy. But um, he's you know he's cool. He's cool. Um. And that's not the only shockwave we have in here. No, no, no. We have the, I think this might be Mech Fan's Toys as well. Yeah, yeah. Mech Fan Toys Laser Wave. Uh, again, beautiful shockwave. I, I, I'm not sure how functional he is. We'll see. That's beautiful. Look at the purple on that. Look at the translucent hand. And over here with this little doodad blaster thing. That's gorgeous. And his hose. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what else? What else do we have in here? Um, little Beast Wars lad. I have no idea who this is. I did know his name. I don't remember it. Somebody tell me who this guy is now, please. Um, he's a Fusor. I know that because he's like a bird and a hammerhead shark. Like <laughs> Fusors. Fusors. You lovable disaster. That's what Fusors were. Um, what else do we have in here? Because we're not done. <laughs> speaking of speaking of beast warts. Speak. Optimus Miner. I love Beast Wars, but this thing was a disaster. I bet it's still a disaster. It's such... Oh, it's not good. That's such junk. Such junk. Um, Skyhammer. Thank you, buddy. Skyhammer it was. 
uh go back up here for a minute just to kind of check in here uh where are we um let's see mick fan toys omega he's awesome he is awesome uh What have you missed, Ninja Bill? Buddy, you've missed a bunch. Uh, let me tell you what you missed. I talked about BotCon. It doesn't affect me personally. I directed everyone to go and check out inputs, coverage of it. Uh, I talked about how Takara said that they knew that there were problems with Hound um, and that they didn't know how the materials were going to pan out. But instead of testing the materials first, they just went ahead and said, hey, let's do a production run and put out Hound. I don't like that. I don't like that way of doing business. And then uh, we talked about how I think Tigatron is glorious. And we've done the compliment sandwich for RC, saying her alt mode is amazing. Her robot mode is hot garbage. I think the worst robot mode I've ever seen because of her witch hands, old lady chest, uh, egregious back path, and like something's off on her face to me. I love the mass of paint apps. And now we're in the midst of doing a huge unboxing that includes Masterpiece Ironhide, um, Beast Force Sky Hammer, and uh, uh, Optimus Miner, uh, KBB, uh, Optimus, and Shockwave, uh, Mech Fans Toys, Omega Supreme, and Laser Wave, who is their Shockwave. Uh, a little tiny itty bitty um, doc and Omega Supreme. And that's kind of where we're to. So now, Ninja Bill, my friend, you are absolutely caught up. Uh, what? Who is so cute, Starscream Wife? Oh, the Shockwave is cute. He is absolutely cute. Let's see. Uh, I hated that Optimus Miner. Gave it to my nephew. Yeah, I don't like the Optimus. I love. The original Beast Wars characters offerings. I, I didn't like Optimus Minor. Uh, you did, Ninja Bill, mention it in your last show as well. Uh, you heard my opinion about on the live show. On her, I did. I did. Absolutely, I did. Uh, that's why I said you would have yelled at me because I knew that my opinion was harsh. Shockwave is very nice. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got because we're not we're not done yet, man. By the way, this is the last thing that we're doing. Oh, by the way, the Mech Fans Toys lads come with these little things. I think they're supposed to turn into Diaclone drivers when you open them up. So there's a few of those in there. Um, yeah, like like there's a there's a few of those in there. What else do we have in here? Um, we have. Some nice. We have some Energon cubes. Energon cubes are cool. And we have this. I've seen these weird little blocks. This turns into a little T-Rex. But like I don't I don't know why it changes into a block. I I it's cool. I it's painted really nice. Like it looks really nice. We will take a look at it, but um what what else do we oh 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 so so much okay and the next one is i guess i'll show these first the next one is is another ko set you're going to recognize it as soon as i pull out the first one um but it's going to be the ko set of these lads yeah, this is the blast off. Obviously, this is the KO set for Warbatron. Um, I've never looked at any of those. I know the blast off is supposed to be kind of janky. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, obviously, like it looks really good. I don't, they're outdated, I guess, now. Um, we've had a billion Bruticuses, but you know, there's there's your right, there's your brawl, there's your lad. Um, here's Right, and of course, here is big boy, big old, big old uh, 
one slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably outdated now. Certainly stylized, but you know what? You guys are going to get a pretty honest opinion of me on that. Uh, we have a bunch of accessories in here, and ooh, 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 ooh. oh, this one is amazing and terrifying all at the same time to me, and you'll see why in a second. I'm just going to check in with you guys and see who's kind of come uh, here and made a few comments. Um, hey, Larkin, happy to see you, buddy. Um, going down here. Take care, Dragonfly. Um, we're almost done here now, thankfully. One more thing in here to show, but it's a doozy. It is a doozy. Um, what? I thought Brawl was Tomator first. first. Yeah, you thought Brawl was Tomator? Him out just totally. <laughs> I thought it was the Um Bruticus is my boy too, Boots Guardian. That's why I'm happy to be dating a look at him. Um Hey Chilled, happy to see ya. How much do I have to for you to what? <laughs> too much. Way too much. Um Dennis and I had a conversation, folks. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the last one. The last one is another combiner. It's an old combiner, one that I don't own, but I definitely want to take a look at, and it's scary, and you'll see why. Because the first member of this combiner is this guy. I think it's Prowl. I think it's Beast Force Prowl. You know where I'm going with this. Then we have Beast Wars Ironhide. I love this alt mode, by the way. Love it. And, of course, I'm petrified. The detail on this is amazing. That's a scary looking duck, man. It's not a duck. He's an eagle. My bad. It's, the gold plastic scares the hell out of me. Absolutely scares me to no end. Um, I look forward to taking a look at that, but... I'm not going to pretend that it's not a bit frightening. So we have Magnaboss, we have Warbatron Bruticus, we have a couple of Omega Supremes, we have a master, a movie masterpiece, Ironhide. I have a few things on the way myself. Earthrise, the Luxes and Leaders have been sighted at Toys R Us in Ontario. Hopefully, before too long, they'll get here. Uh, fingers crossed. That could still be a couple of months. You know, uh, it could be next week, but I don't I don't think it's going to be next week. Um, I think it's still going to be ways away, but we do have a ton of stuff coming up. But that's that's the enormous unboxing. I need to I need to lay that. Oh, oh, jeepers. Lay that down. Lay that down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, oh boy, GPS, a lot of GPS, man. Too much GPS. Uh, what does GPS mean? Gold Plastic Syndrome. Oh. Uh, that stuff can just crumble. Just, just, just look at it the wrong way, it can just crumble. It's scary, but beautiful. Um, yeah, Mag, be very careful on the wing joints for Prowl. <laughs> man, you know what? You know how when I showed him just then, the little wing joints were down? Look, man, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to move them as little as possible. Um, we're going to get him done pretty quickly. And we're going to do him in one review because I, I, I just want to get him combined and left and I not touch. Um, simple as that. Uh... Yeah, some of the gray plastics on Ironhide. He at least feels better in Ninja Bill. 
I uh, tell you what, join my live show this Sunday night, Dennis, and you and I will both look at that figure a bit as a preview of your review. <laughs> uh, we'll see if I can pull it off, buddy. Um, uh, I do have something going on on Sunday night. You and I will talk more, Ninja Bill. You and I will talk more, buddy. Um, I do have something going on. I might be able to take a little bit of a break from it. I have to talk to somebody else. You and I will talk to Ninja Bill because that's a good idea. I like that, actually. Uh, Silverbolt is Maximal. Duck Eagle. Same dip. He's a bird. He's a gold bird. Okay? Gold bird. And on that note, we're going to call the night. That's right. We're signing off on me saying gold bird. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. We had fun tonight. We covered a lot of stuff. You know I love to hear from you guys. Uh, of course, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out so very much. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, there is a donate link down in the description. Don't forget somehow, some way, each and every day, you very much do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time, man, that you and I get together to have another visit. By the way, Episode 7 of Universal Collision Season 2 is coming along nicely. But I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either right here in the live streams at the stop-motion premieres or the old-fashioned way, man, inside the videos.